Hello and Assalamualaikum everyone. Okay, in this uh, video, I will explain on chapter 2, chemistry form 4, matter and the atomic structure uh, for subtopic uh, 2.1, basic concepts of matter. Okay, as we know, as you all have learned in science form 1, okay, uh, we have three states of matter, uh, which are solid, uh, this one solid, liquid, okay, this one liquid and gas. Okay, so let us refresh uh, the properties of solid, liquid and gas. Okay, yeah. the first one, solid. Uh, the particles are closely packed in an orderly manner and the kinetic energy is low and it has strong attraction forces between the particles. For gas, particles are closely packed but not in orderly manner. The kinetic energy is higher than solid state and stronger forces of attraction between particles compared to uh, gas. Eh? Uh, in gas, particles are far apart. Okay, the kinetic energy is very high. As you can see, the particles movement. Okay, uh, the particles move uh, freely at random. Eh? Uh, and weak attraction force between particles. Okay, the conversion between uh, from solid to liquid to gas involve absorption of heat eh? when solid change to liquid and liquid change to gas involve absorption of heat uh, whereas uh, from gas uh, turns into liquid and then solid it involve release heat this process involve release heat Okay, let's see the process involved in conversion of solid, liquid and gas. And when solid change to liquid, and the process is melting, liquid to gas, boiling, and gas to solid is deposition. And when solid change to gas, sublimation, gas to liquid, condensation, and liquid to solid, freezing. Matter can exist in element and compound. Okay, so type of particles uh, depends on uh, type of matter. If the, the matter is element, so the type of particle may be atom or molecule. Okay, if compound, the type of particles may be molecule or ion. Okay, it depends on the, the compound. Okay, so let's see examples of uh, element. For atom, for atom we have, um, if you can refer the periodic table, eh, all the element there, eh, zinc, iron, okay, uh, what else, sodium, uh, potassium, magnesium, uh, all are atoms. Eh? The element, the type of particle, exists in the element is atom. Okay, how about molecule? Uh, if you have oxygen, for example, oxygen gas O2. Okay, uh, so the type of particle is molecule. Uh, bromine, hydrogen gas, uh, what else? Uh, chlorine, Cl2. Okay, the element, the type of particle is molecule. For compound, compound involve uh, two or more element combined together. Okay. Um, uh, example of molecule is uh, carbon dioxide, CO2. It involves two different elements. For the molecule in element just now, involve one type of element only. Eh? For molecule in compound, it involves more than one type of element carbon oxygen water hydrogen and oxygen uh, what else uh, methane 
C2H6 methane. And all the uh, non-metal atoms. Okay. For ion, involve um, compound be uh, form between metal uh, ion and non-metal ion. For example, sodium chloride. Sodium is metal, chloride non-metal. Two different elements. Okay, so the type of particle is ion. Copper to sulfate. Magnesium oxide. Okay. They are ion. The type of particle are ion. Okay, this is heating curve. Uh, when you heat uh, something, uh, the graph will be like this. Okay. If you can see the graph. When you hit, um, start from when you hit solid, okay. So the temperature increase, increase from A to B. The temperature increase. At one point, the temperature will remain constant. Why is that? Why the temperature remains constant even the heat, the heat is still supplied, uh, because the reason is the see here. Uh, no increase in temperature from B to C because heat energy absorbed by the particle is used to overcome the attraction force between the particles until solid changes to liquid. Uh, that's the reason why the temperature remains constant. Then um, when all the solid, at this stage, the type of the physical state uh, form is solid and liquid. Until the point C, all the solid uh, has converted to liquid. And then the temperature increase again. Okay. So, at point C, all the substance has converted into liquid. And C to D, it is liquid. Okay. And the temperature increase. Okay. For cooling curve, when you cool... Uh, substance, of course, the temperature will decrease. Okay, temperature decrease. Okay, it exists in uh, a liquid state. It's, uh, the temperature increase, uh, decrease and it exists in liquid state until at one point, uh, the temperature remains constant. Huh? Why? Because the liquid just now start to Convert to solid again. Uh, cooling. Okay. Why the temperature remains constant? Because the energy that is lost to the surroundings is exactly balanced by the heat energy release when the particles attract each other to form solid. Uh, that's the reason why. Okay. Until point G, all the liquid has converted into solid. And then the temperature decrease again. Uh, the, the physical state now is all is solid. Okay. Okay, so that's all from me. Thank you for watching.